personal though. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know if that argument applies <laughs> with you. Yeah. I feel I feel shy now even to post nudes on my Twitter. I was gonna so. ask you about that. So I'm like, I don't know. Like everyone's like, you should be fine just doing anything, but I'm not. I totally get that. And I, when I tell people, when I talk to people about you, I say, Amara, who's like his girlfriend, and Lana yeah. Rhodes are completely Two different, different people. people. Like, yeah. like truthfully, um, the the stage um, name that you have and Lana Rhodes, I I didn't know what to expect the first time I met you when I brought you into Surprise Mike, and you're you're so much more chill and sweet in real life than I would have expected. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Babe, come on. You're usually yapping up a storm. You were on a podcast the other day with us. You talked the whole time. I didn't, you talked the whole time. What? Like, all that you ever want to do is talk about yourself. Oh. <laughs> why did I know Why did I know this was going to turn into a roast session? Do you guys session? want to know something? Mike, oh, knows, please. Mike knows nothing about me, but I know everything about him. <laughs> so what do you see in him? I mean, he's sweet sometimes. He's sweet a lot of times. A lot of times. Yeah. Besides, whenever I have a problem with something, then he always tells me that there's nothing wrong. And that's what really annoys me about him. What? Like, for example, whenever we went to that restaurant the other day and they upset me talking about my pants, he was like, no, babe, you should agree with them. Like, everything's fine. Like, I, I want him to be more like, yeah, babe, you're right. Like, that was Give you a up. pat on the butt and be like, you got this, babe. You're right. Yeah. yeah. She just wants like, me to support always, her unconditionally. It's always, it's always my fault. Like I'm everything. sure not I'm sure not always. I think this is I think what you're describing is a relationship. And you guys have to find the balance. Mm -hmm. But both of you, both of you. Because if he's making a point that that particular circumstance, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm I wasn't. pretty sure all my boyfriends in the past have been like, Yeah, babe, you're right. Well, of she's course, definitely, of course. She's okay. definitely dated like a lot of <clears throat> more like this is Lana Rhodes. I'm just going to lay down and take whatever she's offering yeah. type guys. Like I, I just tell her wh what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like when she argues with me about dumb shit or what I consider to be dumb shit, I'm like, yo, this is dumb shit. And I'm not willing to have this argument with you. And she's but like, that's, fine, that's, I'm fucking leaving. And we argue for a little bit. And then she leaves. And then she calls me five minutes later and says, babe, I didn't want to leave. I, can I come back now? And I'm like, absolutely. Come on back. But you're driving or paying for your own Uber because I didn't make that fucking stupid you said, argument. You, said happen. you would pay for my Uber back and you didn't make that argument happen. What are you trying to do right now? <laughs> you all you do all day is literally sit in front of me and tell me how great I am, and then you come on the show just to roast me. <laughs> like, what the <laughs> fuck is happening right now? You couldn't even explain why it's bomb dick. Yeah, what? Do, what? I, f I feel like it fits really well. That makes sense. Yeah, like it's probably the best feeling one for my vagina that yeah. I've had. It's like one of those good. It's a good fit. Yeah, it's a good fit. That's cool. That maybe that means you guys are meant to be. Because I'm I'm sitting in between you right now, and to be honest, it doesn't feel like you're a couple. She's I, <laughs> she's being mean today. I think she takes this route when she tries to like produce like quick comedy, like that she wants to just hit some bangs. It's, it's funny though. Maybe it's just like defensive because I don't want to talk about myself. Like, you are the guest of the Mike. show. I know, I know. Well, no, but she's also, but also <laughs> more than the guest of the show. You know, you're you're part of the family now, and so like it doesn't have to. Be. We can talk about whatever you want. What that, do you what do you want to talk about? That's interesting. I could give do you, you some lead offs. Do you guys have any questions? Yeah, for, I, have, I have tons. Uh, so you said she's part of the family now. Uh, and you are. And it started as a vlog, right? <laughs> like, uh -huh. I, it started as a vlog. I brought you in to surprise my friend Mike with you. And now all of a sudden you're dating him. Yeah, we're dating. That's kind of weird. Yeah, like, it is crazy. I remember you asked me in the car, you were like, in any way, would you ever like be attracted to Mike mm -hmm. or like Mike? And I was like, no fucking way. You said you don't like white guys. Yeah. Cause you was her last husband or and people oh, he before was that a, he was a Syrian he wasn't white right mm. it's different mm. and I was like the only white guy that you ever well I dated that other white guy <sighs> every story I have just collapses under the pressure of truth. <laughs>